Hello and good day. I'm Zael and welcome to my channel. So this video is for newcomers that are just trying out or just purchase the Monster Hunter World. So um, I'm gonna give you some basic tips regarding on how you could um, approach. So if you're new to action RPGs, so this might be helpful to you. So as you can see, as soon as you reach the area where you're going to hunt, um, a scout flies guide you to where you could get some more tracks. So gather those so you could uh, the next time you hunt a monster it will much e it will be much easier. And it, as you can see it already appeared on our radar or on our mini map. So one of the tips that I could give you is when you're hunting if you don't know if it's for slaying the monster, capturing the monster. Just look at the icon of the monster that you're currently hunting. If it's red, that, that means it's slayed. If it's white, um, that means you have to capture it. So always remember that so that you won't have any problems in the future. Because sometimes you get confused whether what you're doing is capture or um, slay. So, so here's our first. Th here's the first monster that you could kill in the base game. As you can see, he's trying to devour. Look at that. So, try to hit it. It's going to shout. So basically, what I can recommend to you to do if you're trying to kill the monster or whenever you first encounter a new monster or what you could do is try to observe its moveset first see that's a belly flap then he will charge towards you and then he will tail swipe and belly flap again, belly flap. So uh, we're trying to see if he's going to roll. And then he, when he scratch, and another belly flap. So try to observe first. So it will be much easier for you to encounter. So when he spit as well. As the, uh, he can speed uh, the thing that he devours, so... Okay, so we, here's the basic technique that we do. As soon as the monster was able to make an attack or make a move, that's the thing. That's the time that you have an opening. So that's what we call it, an opening. So whenever a monster finishes an attack, you have an opening, and you take you take that advantage to hit the monster. So never forget that. That's basically it. So there are monsters that has a uh, long recoil, and there are some monsters who could uh, recover right away. So be aware. That's why we advise new players to observe the monster first before you could charge in. Because if you focus on attacking the monster, you won't be able to see its moveset. So you could let jump. That's he's rolling. Okay. So this is mounting, what we call mounting. So at the 
same time he got caught on the vines. So this is the perfect timing that you could hit the monster right away. And then so Okay, he's going down. And he's down. So that's basically it when you hunt a monster. Try to observe it first. And then when you carve, just press circle or um, I don't know on a PC version because I'm so used to using controllers. So just press a circle to carve or gather materials. We have a new monster. And again, just observe always observe so I hope this able was a I was I hope I was able to to help you with Jagras so as you can see he's not that tough to beat because basically yeah, it could prepare you for the next monster so you could actually read its moveset, but as you progress to the game, the monster get harder and harder. So if you don't have that core, wherein you could um, practice and observe the monster's movement, um, see an opening, you won't be able to, uh, you, you will have a hard time, not won't be able, you will have a hard time um, defeating the monster. So our next target would be the next monster on the list, Chikiaku. Uh, I think no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I forgot. So let's try Kulayaku. Yes, Kulayaku. So whenever you are in a new hunt, especially when you're with your friends, don't forget, don't ever forget to eat first before leaving or before getting ready. And then refill your inventory and then you could head off. So you could refill your inventory. And you're ready. So it's basically the same whether you're using a, a heavy weapon or a light weapon. Um, the ba uh, you have to observe the monster first. I am. I know I am. I sound repetitive, but. Um, that is the core of this game. But once you're able to read or you have already memorized the monster's movement, uh, you won't have any problems anymore. Uh, you could just uh, uh, do your thing or get. Uh, you can see the monster right away. So gather up. I think they're fighting. If 
yeah, two monsters we do. What you could do is uh, try to use dong pubs, dong pods in one of on one of them. So one will one will leave. So again, what we're going to do is observe its moveset. I know it's very tempting to just slash, hack and slash right away, but it's better to have uh, more knowledge about a monster before you could So as you can see, he's gathered up some stones when you attack it um, you will bounce so for us to remove that you have either flash bomb or just simply throw a stone towards him Trying to clutch claw. There we go. So I mounted again the monster. So if you see red flashes on your screen, you can transfer or hold on to so that you won't fall. So what I do is just I just transfer and then going down. There we go. I got paralyzed. So those are the environmentals. So you could use that for your advantage, but apparently I got paralyzed too. So I mounted the monster again. As soon as the red flashes, you can transfer to a new location. Going down. Yeah, he's got stones so what you should do is just do that and he will just release the stone so so if you have Monto don't forget to use that to your advantage so this Monto uh, gives you uh, the ability to, to be airborne and also uh, it will be much easier for you to mount them. See, I'm airborne. Then I could mount the monster again. So just transfer as soon as you see your red flashes. And going down. And do your combo. Uh, okay.
Okay, so if the monster is sleeping, the best way is to bomb it. So that's what we call uh, sleep bombing. So as you can see, the monster is sleeping, and on the mini map, there's a skull. So that's the indicator that you could actually capture the monster. So what you could do is just either follow the monster or kill the monster before you get go to a point. So that's basically it. I hope you like my video. And I hope I, ha I was able to help you guys. So please, um, if you like my video, uh, please feel free to like and follow my channel. So thank you for watching, I hope to see you guys in the next video.